Well, the Australian media have been duped by a woman who claimed to be an impartial United Nations rapporteur, but in actual fact was here on a trip funded by the Palestinian lobby. You'll remember the publicity sweep that Francesca Albanese did on Australian television, where she only had angry words to say about Israel. Israel cannot claim the right of self-defense uh, against a threat that emanate from the territory it occupies. The thing is that there shouldn't have been a blockade for 16 years enabling Hamas to rule over Gaza as it has done uh, against the will of the people. 56 years ago and 40 years ago, Hamas was not there and Israel was building settlement and they are illegal, both in the West Bank and in occupied okay. East Jerusalem. Is Hamas using this hospital as a command centre? I, you need to ask Israel to provide the proof that it is using it. Because look, we have gone, gone through five major wars uh, before this one and Israel has attacked hospitals and ambulances claiming that they were being used by Hamas for military purposes in most of these cases the, uh, the, the allegations proved false I'm just saying presidents all propaganda and when she was on Sky News Pete Stefanovic did a tough interview with her and put her through her paces but Francesca Albanese's bias was then further exposed when the project host Walid Ali asked her this very important question. What would be the right response from Israel to the terror attacks on October 7? Well, her answer, zero response from Israel. Nothing, have a look. In your view, what would the correct yeah. response have looked like? The response was to be given in terms of uh, law enforcement because Gaza is occupied and uh, it's under belligerent occupation. So um, Israel has uh, powers to enforce the law and to, um, and to, uh, to pursue all security measures that are deemed necessary, considering that this is occupied territory. It could have relied on the United Nations to demilitarize Hamas if this was the target. So, no, Israel shouldn't have responded to the worst terror attacks, the worst loss of life for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. I'll just send in the UN to take weapons off Hamas. What a farcical response. The Red Cross haven't even been able to visit the Israeli hostages, as if the UN could have taken weapons off Hamas. Now, if that interview with the project and all of her public commentary didn't expose her claims of independence as fraudulent, well, what I'm about to tell you certainly does. Well, first, the executive director of United Nations Watch, Hillel Neuer, came on this program on Tuesday evening and he showed us how Francesca pretends to be neutral but actually has a long history of dangerous remarks against Israel. Uh, neither her position nor her own background have anything to do with impartiality. Her mandate is only to investigate Israel, and the reason they picked her is because she is extremely biased. This is someone who, in 2014, wrote on Facebook that, quote, America is subjugated by the Jewish lobby. This is someone who, a year ago, in November 2022, spoke to a Hamas conference of terrorists, and she said, quote, you have a right to resist. This is someone who has regularly compared the situation of Palestinians to the Nazi Holocaust. So she is the last thing that has anything to do with impartiality, neutrality, objectivity, and she should be exposed. Well, Hillel Neuer, as I said, from United Nations Watch, he's now revealed that Albanese's trip to Australia was sponsored by Palestinian lobby groups. And these groups, the Australian Friends of Palestine Association, the Australia Palestine Advocacy Network, as well as the Free Palestine Melbourne and Palestinian Christians in Australia groups. This is in breach of the United Nations own code of conduct that bars experts from taking any gift, favour or remuneration. Article 3 of the Code of Conduct states that UN figures should be, and I quote, free from any kind of extraneous influence, either direct or indirect, and they may not seek or accept any favour, gift or remuneration from any non-governmental source for, act for activities carried out in pursuit of his or her mandate. Well, United Nations Watch has now filed papers with the UN chief 
calling for Francesca Albanese's removal from her position as UN Special Rapporteur. And she should immediately be removed. And she should have made it clear in every single one of those media appearances on the ABC's Q&A at the National Press Club on the project that her trip was sponsored by Palestinian lobby groups. Jewish groups had sent a letter to the ABC demanding that Francesca Albanese not be given a platform on Q&A because of all of the disgraceful and anti-Semitic views she's expressed in the past. Well, the ABC ignored the demand and had her on the show anyway. Now it seems the public broadcaster owes Australian viewers and the Jewish community an apology. They presented someone as independent when in fact she was here being paid to be in Australia to sprout hateful views against Israel and Jews.